Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what we have here is the Fire Hazard S10. <laughs> Some of you might remember this. If not, I'll have to link or forget to link you in the description below. You can always search for Mike's Sloppy Mechanics Fire Hazard S10. So, we finally convinced yet another person to make the switch, right? From carbureted small block to Turbo LS. And S10s don't have a lot of room really anywhere at all. So what Mike did was, I was like, put them in the bed. And he did. And they work. And he had a stock computer and decaps and a flex fuel OS. And on like a 40 or 50% E-mix, we were totally out of injector at 602 to the tire. And... Uh, as time progressed here, Mike had it and didn't get to race it, had a kid, did a lot of other crazy things going on, but the car was always running and driving. So he took this time to do a Terminator install. He bought a Terminator and did a bunch of other upgrades and did the big boy fuel system. So now he's got the Snake Eater Boys, it's 1500s in there. And then he had an A1000 external pump under the bed that would feed and it just it didn't they just aren't going to make it that far on e it's an old school pump and it's old and everything else attached to that so i recommended he get the holly hat for his fuel cell direct placement it has two 450s in it and it's only it's less than 500 bucks completely shipped it replaces everything it has a sending unit in it it's pre-wired it's terminated it has connectors on it it's got a feed and a return it's got a o-ring gas cap everything man he's he's actually returning to his bottom here he's not returning to the top so all of that said he did it so now he's got two 450s he's got a terminator he's got my plug and play on here which definitely adds 10 horsepower definitely definitely and what happened here was he bought one of the first terminators and they've updated the firmware three times in the entire menu system and everything it has a much better wizard and more things to choose and making everything easier. So what we would like to show you here today is how to update the wizard and the SD card. So if we key on, what I want to show you guys is when you get to the menu here and you go to use this, you will. So if you want to start this car, you're going to go to the wizard and go to the GCF wizard here. You're going to go next, eight cylinders, firing order, cubic inches. Uh, we'll just keep going, spamming through. And it's going to want us to choose some things. And we're going to get not very many choices for an injector. And not very many choices for... Oh, I skipped out on a few things here. So we'll try to scratch that. We'll go through the wizard here. And we'll choose eight cylinders. And we'll just keep going. And we'll pick this guy. 24 tooth and we'll say others and uh, there's only a few FICs in here we'll choose those and then if you choose turbo you get a map sensor selection now the biggest snafu here is it only has a two and a half bar this is the early early firmware and it doesn't have snake eaters in it and it only has a two and a half bar and very few people actually run the two and a half bar in my opinion uh, but this is the earliest firmware. And I think you can, can you look at, can you look at which firmware is on the device from here somehow? Either way, it's not terribly important. It's not too, too important to look at uh, ECU hardware firmware. Okay, firmware version 1.028. So that's what we're looking at. That's the big thing. ECU and handheld firmware are older. So before if you're building a car like this before you do anything and deal with that what you should do is do yourself a favor and turn it off and take the dash out and you're going to remove the sd card in here right here this little jones you're going to pull the card out and you're going to put it in your computer and i'm going to show you what to do with that okay so let me tell you what there is a couple months after the Terminator came out, they made a bunch of vast improvements with the menu, the amount of selectable items, the injectors, everything. There is a larger wizard, it's more comprehensive, and the firmware is also better. So if you're starting from scratch, 
what you're what's going to happen is, is you're going to start at a deficit you're going to have to work up to to do all of this anyway and anything that you build you might throw out and start over anyway so it is much preferred very beneficial to you to just go ahead and do this and it you'll be surprised how easy it is and then the wizard and everything is more capable everything's just it's newer it's better everything has been figured out blah 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 so you should be doing this so the first thing we're going to do is we'll just dive straight to what you need to do is just go to holly terminator x sd card update and i even spelled it wrong because it should still be very easy to get to this so right here holly terminator x software what you want you don't have to touch your you don't have to install the software you don't have to have the canvas cable you don't have to do anything there is this jones right here and it says sd card contents so on the card in the dash is the wizard that builds the tune files on the card in the dash is the firmware for the handheld unit itself and the ecu the new contents holds all of the newer stuff that you would need to do all of this cool stuff and it's very easy so we're going to download the new contents we're going to see what happens oh boy we're downloading downloading open file so here is the entire zip this is what's in the zip file if you guys aren't familiar with zip files i mean you might struggle a little bit here so you should look up on this or you can use the windows utility i'm going to use this one so here's the contents this folder is like basically the firmware version so you can extract this folder here i'm just going to dump it in like that and then if you use the windows one you're going to hit where would we say maybe uh, i have everything but the windows one here in my accessories but you would basically just get this folder just get the folder ready so this is the root so when you put your SD card in you're gonna see the exact same thing uh, whether you have an SD card reader like this or something else or who else knows so what you have here is your SD card with the Holly stuff on it and it has some other hidden folders and none of this stuff matters this is the old dash firmware and this is the old firmware that's on it right now what you can do is you go back to the entire SD card directory you highlight everything and you hit delete and you sign off you say good night have fun goodbye so we, what we want to do is go back to downloads so we're going to go back to downloads and then this is the firmware file so we want to open this all of this stuff this is the firmware for the dash this is the firmware for the ecu and everything else and here's all of the original folders and the wizard and everything so you want to grab this base stuff for all of everything just take the whole sd card contents your sd card's empty put everything on it it's very simple there's everything all the new spark tables all the new wizards all the new file support all the new firmware already exists so you didn't need any of that old stuff it's not a problem if you delete it or lose it or whatever you can buy another sd card and just put the holly contents on it and you're starting fresh so now that all this is done what i have to tell you is important this next step is when you put this card back into that dash and you turn the key on the dash is going to automatically find new dash firmware and start flashing itself so if you have some shoddy power connection and you're pushing it with a thumb i'm not making fun of you i do that stuff too what you need to be weary about is if you are doing that and it does an automatic update and you slip and it bricks your handheld you have lost your handheld technically maybe there's another way to get it back maybe you break it maybe it reflashes itself just uh, be ready for that have some solid power connections make sure this stuff isn't going to turn off it doesn't take long so just make sure it gets done right it's going to make the rest of your day much easier so that being said i think that was pretty easy we replaced the contents of the card 
with the stuff off of Holly's site, which is the newest stuff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in the car, we're gonna shove it in, we're gonna turn it on, and you're gonna see it automatically updates the dash. And then we're gonna move on from there. So, updated SD card. Back in Mike's S10. So what we're gonna do is put the card boy back in here, like yonder, and do this with one hand. Okay, so that's in. We're gonna put it back in its pedestal here. We're going to key on. Like I said, it's going to do the dash update on its own. So that's what we should see, or else I look like a jerk, right? Hey, look, it says it found a file. And it's going to do an update right now. And it's already at 60%. It happens pretty quick, so that's why I mean. you got to be uh, not fiddling with your power here. You might brick your display. So now the display is updated and it says remove SD and reboot device. You don't have to remove the SD. So now it has the new wizard, a new firmware on the handheld. So what you want to do now is you want to go to file and then uh, you might want to use the pen too because it's not designed to really use your finger. File and then I'm going to go to hardware firmware and it might flash on its own because it doesn't have, it only has one firmware file. See, when you have multiple firmware files in, it might ask you, but I believe the last time I did this with the single firmware file, it found it and flashed itself. So we have 1.0.28. I'm going to hit upgrade and it grabbed the file and automatically is flashing it. Like I said, so it grabs it, updating new firmware, blendering away here. We'll just do the whole thing uncut since it's flying. So now, after you have done these simple deeds and you go back into that wizard, you are going to have drop downs for three bar, like one through five bar map, I think, and a whole nice caseload of new injectors, including Holly did an entire characterization of Snake Eater 850, 1000, and 1500s. So it's done. You don't have to hit OK or anything. Shutting it off does the same thing. So now that we key on, handheld, wizard, files, everything else is done. And we have a new wizard, we have the new injectors, we have everything. So now we don't have anything really on here. So we go through wizard, and now you'll see there's more options. So we're multi-port and it's GM because they added Coyote and Hemi and everything, right boys? So, cubic inches, we hit this and we go clear and we go 325, close enough. Next, target idle speed, clear, 900, save. Next, I always choose number two, 24X. Fuel pressure, I don't know what he has it at. We'll do 43, uh, sniper. Holly OEM other. I believe we hit other and we hit next and then do 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 down here yonder SCP 1500s. Turbo next. And then we're just going to choose Holly 3 bar because it's very close to that. It's an EFI source one. Uh, watt ignition timing. We're going to go with 21. And then by 14, we're just going to scale it back to about 13. Make it conservative. Target air fuel at watt at zero PSI. We want to do like 12.3 offset. Let's make it conservative. Let's get into the 11.80 range. Cancel. 11.90 range at 14 sounds good to me. Start. Now it's going to flash the bass tune for the SEP boys and everything. So now we're going to quick. I'm going to hit OK here. Hit finish. And then we're going to key off. We're going to check a few things and then we'll, I'm going to make sure it's not two, three in the morning and we're going to probably start it. Okay. We're back and it still has the base tune that I loaded. And what it's going to tell you is you haven't done a TPS auto set yet, which is fine. It wants to know you're not flooring it when you start it and you're not going to drive it through the wall into your bedroom and, uh, you do that twice and, uh, at your leisure. 
and you hit next, and now it says we're successful. And what we can do is we can go right to, oh man, look at that. Vitals, fan, coolant, IAC, everything looks good. So, uh, do we just give it a whirl? <laughs>